my ghost on this episode of Demons Row TV. We talk about a former Iron Order MC member that ordered fake Hells Angels patches online, put it on a cut to put fear in his ex club's heart. And we get into it on this episode of Demons Row TV. No, yeah, we ghosting, baby. the demons row tv the holy grail of mc culture where we cover everything motorcycle club involved i'm sos the ghost i'm your host for the evening and today we're going to talk about fake one percent of colors this is the part two i have another joint i'll link that down right now you can see it it'll pop up fake one percent of colors i talk about the whole chris brown you know fake hell's angels cut and it's funny, once again, we're full circle and we're talking about, I don't know what the fascination is with 81's patches, but a lot of people like faking their patches. They got a lot of people holding pom-poms. So we're gonna get into it, but the first thing I want you to do, like we do every week on this channel, is to hit me with that pound ghosting. And that lets me know you're alive and well, sitting on twos, doing what you do, or just part of the Demons Row community, one of my ghosts. Okay, so let's get into this. So it's called thelifeofariter.com. So the headline reads, ousted MC member bought a fake Hells Angels patch online, uploaded pic on Facebook to scare his former club buddies. If you're part of a motorcycle club, or know anyone who is, you know how serious their cuts and colors are for them. And I'm not even just talking about the one percenters. Cuts and colors have a sacral sank respect in the MC culture and all the more so for the one percenters. He was originally a member of the Iron Order Motorcycle Club. That was until he was ousted from the club for cowardice. So of course his solution was to try and turn hostile towards his former club brothers. And the way to do it for him was to go to some website online and get a fake Hells Angels cut from China. All right, my goals, so the first thing that I get from this, this whole little clip. When you leave a club, why is it always sour grapes? Ask yourself that. If you're one of the dudes that left the club, why is it always sour grapes? Why can't you just move on and do your own thing? I've experienced that a lot of times in my life. Motherfuckers can't just like move on. If you go your own separate way, do your thing. You don't have to bad mouth the next man. This goes on too much at MC culture, and, and it's on the club's perspective too. The clubs, y'all need to stop downing people. Just because somebody's not down no more or it didn't work out, listen, keep that behind closed doors. Everybody don't need to know your business. Now my ghost, why would somebody that's actually been in the club think that it would be cool to buy Hells Angels colors of all clubs? Why is it always 81? Why do, what is this pom-pom thing with 81? Like, I know they had movies like way back in the days. You know what I mean? Maybe it's because I'm from a different era, so I don't see it. But why is it that the pom-poms for 81 is so crazy? Like, why is it that people always want to mimic them? What would possess you to go online and order something from China, fake colors, and then actually put it on? And not for nothing, looking at the picture, I'm like, yo, this looks a little bit official. It doesn't even look like some straight fake 81 colors. Like it looks pretty official. And I've looked online and I've seen, like I've typed in like Hells Angels patches, Mongols patches. It's ev everybody's on there. Outlaws, Banditos, they're all on there. And it's like, 
if you wearing shit like this, man, listen, your mental state and what's going on with you, why would you want to perpetrate a fraud and act like your son you're not? Let's stop doing that, man. Let's, let's, this is why you earn your patches. If you earn your patches, if you prospect and earn your patches, guess what? Nobody can't tell you nothing except for your rivals. But if you signed up to be down with something and you know they have a rival, then you know what you signed up for. So you're expecting that. It's real simple. Instead of wearing the fake colors, get down with the club. You really want to get down with them? You really want to look like one of them? If you can't get straight down with them, get down with the support club. Put your time in. Put work in. Like, there's nothing wrong with putting work in. Like, people never want to show their stripes. Like, it takes time. And this is why you will always wear fake colors and not be official at whatever you do. Because this is a bigger issue than just club. This is work ethic. People don't work hard for anything anymore. Everybody wants to be famous. Everybody wants to be a big star, a rapper, a singer, whatever. But they don't want to put the time in that it takes to be that. Everybody wants to be popping, but they can't. They just incapable of working hard. Listen, I believe truthfully in my heart, it doesn't matter what you want to do. Now, physical gift stuff like, you know, being a basketball player or something. I mean, and listen, even that. Spud Webb, what was he, 5'6"? I believe that if you put your heart and soul into something, it will pay dividends. But you have to be honest with yourself. Is what you put in your heart and soul into, what is your calling? Are you a legit expert at it? Everybody is an expert at whatever they're an expert in. So if you're an expert in something, whatever that is, it will resonate, it will resonate. So they're saying that he posted on Facebook. I hope he never strolled outside or dared to take a ride looking like that. And to my ghosts, to my new ghosts, because I know a lot of people are new to this culture or learning about it to join a club. Don't ever order something online. That's something that I would stress to the cows come home. Do not order anything online. Earn your patches. Don't just buy stuff and stitch it on. And listen, I'm even talking about flags and, and all these sayings and stuff. Like, listen, nobody's gonna run down on you for wearing a Puerto Rican flag or Italian flag or whatever your country is or, or, or FTW or whatever. But even that, don't you want the pride of when you wear your cut to say, yo, everything on me, I earned. Do you know what it feels like to wear a cut and know every patch on you earn? That's a feeling that cannot be compared. So when you roll up with your Mickey Mouse and your your nurse, you know, the, the, the nurse ribbon and all that type of shit, you, when you get around somebody that earned every single patch, you're gonna feel like they earned their patch and you're gonna feel like you stitched your patch on. You won't know why your vibe is like that, but their vibe is gonna be stronger than yours. Their vibe is gonna be more official because they earned everything they have on. Yo, listen, we need to bring it back to the basics and earn everything. Nothing is given, everything is earned. So my ghost, in the comments, I wanna do something fun. I wanna create something. I don't know if you ever seen The Breakfast Club, but Charlemagne the God has something called Donkey of the Day. And like Kanye West, that you know, whenever somebody does some nutty shit in the media or whatever, they have that. So I want to create for Demons Row. I want y'all to tell me in the comments something that y'all thought of where it's sort of like a donkey of the day because this dude is definitely that. And also, I want to do something like a beauty of the week. I want to call that Skull Candy. If you got a better name, tell me in the comments. But what I want to do is I want you guys to send me at Demons Row or at Chopper Sosa on Instagram or you could email me at demonsrow at gmail.com a picture of a woman that we want to call Skull Candy of the Week. A woman that rides or a woman that's maybe in an SC or something that's in the culture. A woman that wears a cut. Send a picture. We're going to start doing Skull Candy. That'll be like our version of Beauty of the Week. Follow the Sosa the Ghost page. We got a lot coming on that page. Don't forget to do that. Also, if you want to support the show, cop the Demons Row merch. 
every video the link is underneath there's this in in the first description the first demons row comment it's always in the comment so is the social ghost page the follow for it but underneath every video is the actual merch shelf where it shows the hoodies and everything so people have been hitting me up a lot having a hard time finding stuff under any demons row video it's the merch shelf you can click on it any picture and if it's not exactly the one that you want just go to the demons row clothing you know the small actual merch store page and then you'll see everything thank you for tuning in to demons row tv the holy grail of mc culture like subscribe and comment share this on your feed so we can stop the weird shit and get this culture shaped in the right direction all of us together we gotta let them know that demons row is here to save everybody no yeah, we ghostin' baby.